But let me wise, let me give you some wise, wise, wise. Because my answer on a lawyer. Oh, yes. After we don't laugh and discuss it in too close confidence, my answer on a lawyer. And I responded, I said, Dear sir, please to tell your clients, these are where my exact words, Dear sir, Please to tell your clients and Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke to go fuck themselves. Kindest regards, Karen Cecilia. So your lawyer, like the lawyer, just met me, Karen Cecilia Cross. If you ever know where I do, you don't know where I do either. So I'm going to give you this opportunity, and I say public here in public sphere, I give you an opportunity to break up and back that up. I give you the opportunity because none of this needed to be aware it is that now. And if you think Dayton can't be in pain yet, I'm going to go ahead with this lawsuit because I guarantee you, I'm going to promise you both. I will turn it up to the, to the levers, terminator levers. That will shock you. Put you in shock. So let me give you some advice. Don't do this. For the sake of the People's National Party and for Funa's sake, call itself so send more letter. I want to feel strong. Not going to further with it. That is my honest advice to you. To your boo. Don't go no further with it. Leave it as it is. Don't go no further with it. Because on September 19th, September 19th, that very said Sunday, I missed a phone call from a person close to you, Angela. Somebody that you and I both loved. Yeah? And I missed the call from in the morning. And then I missed the call on my, it was came in on Messenger. And then I missed the call on my WhatsApp. And I sat down in my shop. And I sent a WhatsApp message to the number. I said, good night. I missed the call from this number. Who is this? Please, you go ahead with that. That will come up to. Who is this? Please. The person did not respond. The person called, and the person ran on. What they would do me, me and walk out to me. I'm a better stop. I'm a better fix this. And if nothing happened to Angela and Ray and K and Bray. And I sat there in my shop and I listened to the person threaten me and threaten my life. And I smiled. I did not say a word in that conversation. My only words in that conversation was when I pick up the phone and say, hello, good night. That's my only word. And that will be proven to in due time. I looked at the number and I knew where in the United States the number came from. And I contemplated that I was going to send the number to the FBI field office in that location. And the FBI does have a kind of system where they can forward them a number and somebody will get back in touch with you with him. 48, 72 hours and asked what the number for and all the rest of it. And I sent the number. And I avoid the calls. I don't answer none of the calls. If them, if them calls come and I, if I answer the call, I'm going to tell you something. But I'm old enough on the call. <clears throat> because I don't want FBI to go visit this person. And if the FBI should visit this person who you send to come threaten me, they would not, the first questions they would ask them would not be why you call Karen Cross or did you threaten Karen Cross? The first 
question would be, yes, did you call Karen Cross? Then the next questions would follow would be, do you know Angela Brown Burke? Do you know Paul Burke? How do you know them? Do you know Philip Paulwell? Do you know anything about missing baby and missing mother? When I play fire, when I play with things, learn this number. I want you to learn this part work. I may have to learn this. You were one of those who taught me. Now me as a teacher, learn that. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this, boss. I don't know why I do this. But just in case you feel like I don't want to, go right ahead. Because I've already introduced myself to the lawyer. I am prepared to introduce more of me to him. So go right ahead. But if you need it to send it to me, just to show some people, say, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. But let me answer you here and now. You're not getting a retracting. You're not getting me stopping our cease and desist. You're not getting that apology, and it's not going in the cleaner. But I can put something in the cleaner. I can put something. Mess the cleaner for you if you want it. Don't mess with me, bro. Now tell you that. Do not mess with me, your wife. Because I have no idea, none, what you both have done. I don't want to pay for it. So may I tell you that look a fool fool letter where you're Mr. Jacobson said. I'm going to back it up. Because I don't want to do this. Because I'm not stop. I want to carry me now. Now we come to Jesus. I want to carry me a thing. And if we don't attempt to, or even succeed to, that's not where we save you. Come away, I don't want to. So I tell you this. You look a full, full letter that Mr. Jacobs has sent. I sent him a response. Dear sir, please tell your clients, Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke, to go fuck themselves. Kindest regards, Karen Cecilia.